Hey, free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So for today's video, we're going to talk a little bit more about some free to play A plus and above options for the Desktop Lens. So this is my current team. This is obviously not free to play, but there are some aspects that I would like to keep. So for example, I will keep all the Epic 4 stars over here because they are slightly easier to obtain. I know some of you guys are like, oh my God, I don't have a Sander, I don't have a Chloe. I've summoned like a thousand five hundred times without a single copy of them. I hear you, but in most cases, they can also be replaced. They are just really good at doing whatever that they're doing here. So for example, for Chloe, she's really good at doing the damage that she needs to do. And for Sander, he's not only going to be really good at dealing damage, but he also has the very powerful speed lead over here for 20 so they are still replaceable, you're just gonna have to suffer a little bit in the score sector. So let's proceed. So let's take a look at this team that is a lot more free to play friendly. So now we are using Berenice, we are using Suhua and we are using Anki Chai as well. Uh, some of you guys might be also asking me this question which is, can I use Dahlia instead of Suhua? The answer is probably gonna be yes because they both provide the attack buff which then allows Anki Chai to reset your cooldowns. See, as you can see over here, my cooldowns got reduced by a little bit. So that's going to allow us to throw out our skills a little bit more frequently, right? Just throw out our buffs, throw out our attacking skills like Chloe and all that, which is really good. Um, and the reason why I prefer Suhua over Dahlia is because I think Suhua has a better uptime in terms of attack buffs and just like defense buffs and all that. But do take note that if you stack buffs, I believe that uh, you won't be able to reduce your the, this debuffing counter by stacking buffs. So as you can see here, we actually gave ourselves some attack buffs earlier from Anki Chai, but our debuff counter, right, is still stay at 18. You can just rewind the video to check it out. So ideally, you do not want to stack buffs, which means that Celine, while good, she may not necessarily be the optimal choice over here because of the simple fact that Suhua is giving the defense buffs. And the, and the problem with that is, if you stack buffs, there is, a, there is that chance that you will never run out of said buff, which means that when you buff yourself again, you're not going to reduce your uh, the debuff count over here. But as you can see, we are still okay. We are dealing, we are, we are still doing pretty okay because Celine's defense buff only lasts for one turn. So it's not going to like hinder us all that much. But as you can see, our, multipl our multiplier is just times eight, which is definitely not enough if you want to achieve something like an EX plus or EX plus plus, for example, or maybe even an EX, right? I don't think a times eight multiplier is gonna, is gonna do it for you, but for this team, what you might also notice is that we do not have a dedicated healer. And maybe that's because my relics are better, but in most cases, if you do need a healer for this particular fight, you could remove Anki Chai. I wouldn't really recommend it, but you could remove Anki Chai for a heal like Hengria. And the reason is because Hengria cleanses at the same time while she heals. So uh, she's going to be very powerful that way. But the thing is, Berenice should be enough healing on her own because the regeneration buffs that she gives is really very powerful. It's highly underrated. And as you can see here, I think this is going to be a double S score, I think. But the problem, as you can see over here, is if we do a certain amount of damage, the boss is just gonna steal a turn, which means that we are probably not gonna hit 3 million. And I'm not sure whether 3 million is the cutoff point, but uh, it still kind of sucks for us because we are not gonna be able to farm the points that we need to. Oh, never mind, we hit 3 million. That's pretty cool. So the boss stole a turn that way and ended the run for us. And let's see, we end off with a double S. Okay, so another thing to take note of is if your team is not tanky enough to sustain the last attack that you saw over there, what will happen is your team would then end with an A plus ranking. And that is still enough for you to farm these crystals. And as you can see, we are doing double S here and we are getting about maybe 75% of what you would get by doing an EX plus score. So while you are still definitely going to do it a lot slower than the EX plus players, you're not going to be doing it terribly slow. You're still going to be able to acquire Everett within like the week or so, right? Just farm for the week and you're probably going to get your first copy of Everett. Now moving on to Shadow Stream. This is the current team that I'm using and obviously it's going to be a little bit more pay to win. In. So I'm gonna have to shuffle this Aspers around and let's see what we have. Now do take note that for Shadow Stream, it is going to be a little bit more difficult. So I'm gonna show you the run. It's a little bit harder for you to gain more turns. So what you notice is that sometimes, or rather in most cases, uh, your Sander and your Tang Yun, they are not even going to be able to gain enough turns to get rid of that purple debuff on your HP bar, right? Which we will see in just a bit. Um, but this team is not bad, and the reason why I'm using Dahlia instead of Suhua this time is because Dahlia pushes the AP of my entire team, which in some cases is okay, but the thing is if you need a little bit more sustain in a form of defense buffs or a single target heal, Suhua is still a pretty decent choice. She's not going to be optimal for, for Shadow Stream, but Suhua is still okay, that's what I'm trying to say. 
So for this team, um, ideally what you want is your Hengria to be on uh, Astro Witchcraft so that she can gain more additional turns to then get rid of this purple debuff because the way this boss works is the more turns you take, the smaller that debuff that purple meter becomes, right? And that would then add to the petal scoring, the petal multiplier over here. So we have not actually seen our Hengria proc an Astro Witchcraft yet, I think. I wasn't really paying attention, but I don't think she has procced it yet, which is very unfortunate. But I guess this is this would be a really good base case where if you do not proc your Astro Witchcraft, then how can we perform? So we only got a 10 times multiplier. And the reason for that is, well, obviously this team is not uh, taking enough turns because we are not using Aspers like, like Gaius or or a Nessidora, those Aspers take multiple turns, so it's going to be a lot, a lot easier for you to get better multipliers with those Aspers. But we're trying to make do, right? So we have uh, Lee Kuang here, KFC, who has a team-wide AP push as well. So there is one team-wide AP push here, there is another one in the form of Dahlia, and we have a speed lead in the form of Sander, and we have a speed buff from Celine. So the only two Aspers that are truly, well, more replaceable, more easily replaceable in this team, is number one going to be Hengria, we might lose our Espers at the back. Okay, we did lose a lot of our Espers over there, and our Tang Yun as well. But the thing is, this is not too much of a problem for us because our Hengria is going to survive, which means we will get, I think, a like, triple S score or something like that. Yeah, triple S. But the thing is, even if you wipe at the end, you are still going to end up with an A plus rating as long as you cross, I think, like 1 million points or something like that. So you are still going to end up with A plus, which means you are still going to be able to farm these uh, crystal diamonds, right? Now, finally, we have Shadow Fire, and this is my current pay to win team. It's extremely, extremely pay to win. So, we're gonna have to change this up a little bit to make it a slightly, okay, just slightly less pay to win. Alright, so let's take a look at this team that I have right here. This is definitely a little bit more free to play, but because I'm using a Liling, and I know some of you guys, maybe like 30% of you guys, do not have a Liling, you have a Tang Shen instead. So, instead of a Liling, you might want to use a Tang Shen. I think that is still fine. Well, I guess because Tang Shen does a little bit, well, a little bit more AoE damage, maybe. So th that might work out, but I do feel like this team is probably one of the most free-to-play friendly teams out there for Shadowfire. So Mona is free, Liling is kind of free, Jiangman, well, she she's she's not she's not like pay to win, right? I mean, you can definitely get her. Same goes for uh, what, Chloe, right? I can't see her face over here. <laughs> I can't see her behind all the all the character faces. But Baroness is going to be so strong. She is as good as a healer in my opinion, right? Because take a look at whenever she buffs herself up or when she buffs the entire team with the shield buff, comboed with Suhua's uh, defense buff, that is going to be really, really powerful, right? So here, we are not going to like lose any HP at all. Okay, we're going to lose a little bit of HP, but that's going to be good enough because we still have the regeneration buff. So Baroness is probably one of the better free-to-play experts out there. And uh, we may not be able to, yeah, we will not be able to clear all the enemy experts here because our AoE damage is just simply not enough. So we are kind of like lacking a little bit, but I just want to showcase that this team works pretty well. Well, at least if you want to get it within the range of A plus to triple S. And uh, we will be able to survive the boss final attack, which is going to be the most important part. So, so far so good. It's definitely not like the strongest team out there with just a times 10 multiplier. Because I ideally, Shadowfire is one of those bosses that should be quite possible for you to obtain um, like a times 18 multiplier as long as you can get rid of all the all the, the fiery eyes, right? Whatever they are called. So we should be okay. We managed to hit 4 million, which I think is a triple S. And we will survive this. Yeah, we will survive this. Very nice. And there you go, triple S. So that's it for the, well, a little bit more free- Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's this? What's this? Ah, damn it. So that's it for the more free-to-play Desol land teams. And this hopefully would help you a little bit in farming Everett because you are going to need a whole ton of these materials, man. A lot of it. Actually, I think in order for us to end off this video, we need to celebrate a little bit. And in order for us to celebrate, let's just fuse ourselves our first copy of not Odette, but our first copy of Everett. Holy crap, we did it. And there we go. 50,000. Let's fuse my first copy of Everett. Very nice. Hell yeah. 
It's gonna take me about maybe one more week, one more week plus in order to fully rezzo him, I think. But that would be the goal for whatever that I'm doing right now. So I'm just gonna be grinding Desert Lens like crazy just to get him to R6 and then we can play around with like the rest of his resonance and all that and talk about whether is he really worth it or not. Because at the end of the day, I am still going to have to invest a lot of skill ups into him in order to make him work. So for example, the third skill here needs to go all the way up to the max and the first skill as well for the 70% trigger chance. I think that's a little bit more important. But anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now with that said, this has been Dairy Free to Play and as always, I will see you in the next video. Ah, before I forget, here are all their stats. And that's for Shadow Fire, and now Shadow Stream. Gonna skip the Dahlia. By the way, Dahlia reveal when? Maybe someday? Who knows? And finally, Shadow Gale. Alright, that's it.